Alright, hi guys, hope you're all doing really well today. Thanks for joining me on this video. We are going to be looking at how to extract stock data from Finviz and also from Google Finance because that's quite useful as well. Okay, uh, we're going to be using Google Sheets for this. Okay, now I did write a blog post about this um, on my website. Okay, so step one open up a Google Sheet. So that's what I've done here. I've called it FinViz Data. But the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to quickly go through Google Finance because you can import stock data straight from Google Finance. Um, so Google Finance have got a great tutorial here. Uh, they've got some examples here. So all you do is copy this. Um, you can chuck this into a cell. Obviously, you've got to put the equal sign here. So, equals Google Finance, Goog price 2014. This is going to give us um, closing prices for the whole of 2014, daily prices. Just give it a sec. Okay, there we go. Sometimes you have to click into a cell and do something for it to come up so here we go we've got closing prices for Google for the whole of 2014 if you wanted to change this you can just change the ticker what you could actually do is make this a cell so you can make this A2 and then in A2 you can put in your ticker so I'll put in Apple. Now that should work. Let's see. There we go. So now we've got prices of 2014 for Apple. Closing prices. Now if you wanted to do um, the open, you just, you can simply well, you can use any of these formulas basically. So copy this one in. Equals Google Finance. Change this to, I don't know, think of a stock. GE. And change this to, change this to high. Right, so that gave us the high of um, GE uh, <clears throat> for today and obviously you can do low uh, you can do volume um, you can do all of these basically so PE all right we'll quickly do PE so that we do to get PE change this Okay, don't know why that hasn't worked. Google Finance G E P E. Okay, so for some reason um, there was no P E ratio there for G E. Don't know why that happened, but it does work for Google because um, I changed the to get to Google and the PE ratio coming back. Okay, so that's how you use Google Finance data. Now, Google Finance data, um, the stock data is pretty good. Um, and what you can use this for is you can export um, your quotes. And then obviously you can use that for your analysis. You can put that into um, a back tester. You can put it into an Excel or you can use it for back testing. Um, now I don't actually use Google Finance for quotes. I actually use a premium um, subscription service from Norgate Data, uh, which I think is slightly better quality. Well, it's a lot better quality actually because um, 
you can take out all the splits and all the adjustments and things like that. Okay, so now let's move on and talk about um, Finviz. Uh, so that's slightly more interesting, I think, because we can get a lot more um, bits of data. So if you've never used Finviz, this is the website. And um, yeah, it's a pretty good website. Um, I love it. I actually, I use this. Yeah, it's a, yeah, so, okay, guys. Yeah, so if you've never used Finviz, this is the website. Um, it's really good. I use it um, pretty much every day. It's just such a good website for looking at charts. Um, getting a good overview of the markets. See here, you've got the major news. Stocks in the major news. This is the stock of the moment, making all the big news stories. As you can see, it's gone crazy. It's got a market cap of 22 billion. The float is only 60 million at the moment, um, which is way overvalued because we're only making 20 million dollars in sales um the floats 60 million um, so that gives it a market cap larger than aon aap i mean axon tons of these companies alcoa all right, so that's stocks on Finviz. It's great for futures as well. You can just get a great overview of all these charts. I actually use the Elite version. It um, costs about $30 a month. Um, it just means you don't get any ads. and You can get live data, live stock data, and pre-market data as well. That's pretty good. So anyway, back to the lesson. Right, so let's have a look at a stock. What we're going to do is a chart of Apple. So what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be scraping data from this table here. All right, so you can see we've got lots of different um, metrics. And if we can import that data into a spreadsheet, it could be pretty useful. Okay, so let's get to it. So all we do, go back to this blog post. Step three, extract Finviz data. So what we do, we use this function called the import HTML function. And there's some documentation on it here in Google. So this is a Google Sheets function. That you can use to bring in data from a web page basically um, now what we're going to do we're going to uh, type in this formula here which i've written in the blog post so i'm just going to copy that chuck it in here um, so now i've got equals index import html so that's accessing a web page this is the web page the web url that we're going to be accessing this is the the standard finviz page and then we've got the um, apple here this is the ticker symbol and so we can easily change this to whatever we want table so this is telling um the function so this is looking for um this is pulling data from a table it's looking for a table um, and this is the number table that it's bringing in so this table here is table 11 um, now if you don't know what number the table is you can use trial and error so it could be 9 you could try 9 you could try 10 um, until you get to 11 and then you'll find it that's one way to do it the other way to do it is to look into the um, source HTML um, can't actually do that on this browser well I'm not sure how to do it on this browser but you can do it in other browsers pretty easily you just uh, right click look at the HTML and you should be able to figure out what table it is 
So anyway, this is table um, 11. So the next thing I'm going to do is just we're going to bring in the row. You type the row and then the column. Okay, so what's this we've got here? So that's the market cap of Apple. Uh, so what we've got, we've got row, row two, column two, that gives us the market cap. Okay, so we've got all these different metrics. Uh, we've got book value per share, price to book, PE ratio, return on assets, return on equity, short ratio. Okay, so let's say we want to pull in pull in the return on equity so all you do count the count the columns one two three four five six seven column sorry eight columns and the rows one two three four five six so six rows and eight columns i'm just going to copy this I'm going to put it down here. Okay, and what did I say? I said six columns, eight rows. So there we go, six columns, eight rows, 43.5%. So we can check that. Return on equity, 43.5%. So there we go. We've got that in there. Uh, what else? We could do the volume. Okay. So how many columns? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's the 10th column and the 12th row. Okay, so it's the 10th column. So it's the 12th row. So it's the 10th column. So that's giving us the volume. Alright, now what you can also do is um, you can change the ticker. So if we just Put a ticker symbol in there, and then we come into this formula. Instead of um, putting the ticker there, we can just put the cell in. So A2. Go back. A2 in here. So now we've got the market cap of Facebook. And you know, we can just go through it. General Motors. Market cap 49 billion. Tesla. Market cap 50 billion. Uh, so that's how you do it and you can obviously import all of these from this table um, and what you want to do next is you might want to get rid of these stars so what you can do copy that paste as values to get rid of these stars then just do a control find um, and you find star and replace with one space like that so now you've got the data without those asterisks okay so that was pretty simple easy to use um, now what to do with the data well I think this is pretty useful because obviously you can pull in all these different metrics, fundamentals, 
that you can use to improve your decisions, um, to help you with your investing and your trades. Um, another thing you can do, uh, this is what I do. I Every day I import Finviz data into my spreadsheet of trades. So all of these in red, basically these are now historical fundamental values that I've pulled in every day. So now what you can do, now what I can do is I can look for correlations. So short float against percentage change, insert chart. Change this to a scatter chart. Now this is showing um, percentage change in a stock against the short float. Um, so percentage change since um, since I put it into the spreadsheet. Um, and obviously there's not really a good correlation there. Um, and this is what I'm finding actually from tracking all of these fundamentals, um, I'm not finding very, I'm not finding great correlations. I've got to be honest with you, but um, it will change once I get more data. All right, guys. So that's about it for today. Um, I hope you like this video. That's how you import data from Finviz into a Google spreadsheet. I'll be back with more videos. Uh, make sure to click on the links below this video. Um, all right, that's it for now. Cheers.